YouTube, it's Tony Lane with um, my third vlog of prep. I am officially 13 weeks and 6 days out. And since the last video, my macros have changed, um, my carbs decreased a little bit, and my cardio has increased a little bit. So I'm looking to weigh in around 136 ish soon, hopefully by the end of next week. I'm around 140 right now, so hopefully. Yeah, I just recently had a refeed, and the refeed consisted of what I uh, cheated with last time on my last vlog. Uh, home style chicken sandwich from Wendy's with no mayo, a sweet and sour sauce, and a medium fry. This time I didn't get the frosty, unfortunately. But this time I supplemented uh, some rice with a bunch of pretzels, like a whole jug of pretzels, and it was amazing. Yeah, I missed that. So yeah, I had the refeed and I lost weight two days after that refeed, which is awesome. So now my macros are consistent right now. So this vlog, I wanted to talk about uh, my cardio sessions. Um, my friends always tell me that I'm crazy with the amount of cardio that I do. I tend to, uh, I have a target range that I have to hit by the end of the week, which is Sunday for me. And uh, I spread out my cardio sessions. So... This week I had to hit 1,100 calories, and I, like I said before in my last vlog, I only stick to one machine, so I know how to fluctuate how much cardio I need to do um, throughout the week, and I do the Stairmaster, so to get to 1,100, it seems like a lot just hearing that, but I will spread it out, and like I said in my last vlog, I'll start off kicking a lot of cardio in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so I'll do like 3 to 200, 200 to 300 calories Monday and Tuesday so that the rest of the week wouldn't be as harsh um, cardio thus far has still going well I'm not as tired anymore no cravings I mean I would like some lemon heads I would like uh, a cupcake but you know of course I can't have any of that so yeah not too bad I'm still taking the same fat burner my workout so thus far I'm seeing some striations in my chest Today I had a shoulder workout. Today was light biceps, and I had um, heavy late, uh, heavy um, plate raises. I used 45 pound plates, and I raised them uh, for a certain amount of reps. And I'm seeing chest striations. I was like, I mean, it's not even chest day, and I see chest striations. So, of course, the more and more I was staying in this cut, the more and more striations I see, separation in my muscle groups. That's what I want to see. Um, I'm not waking up as sore anymore like I used to. My energy is up and down right now. I'm just trying to survive. Classes are about to start in like a couple weeks. And that will definitely be interesting. I will try to document as much as I can because I feel like that is really a vital time <laughs> to see how I'm doing because I'm writing a thesis for grad school. I'm doing this show. And I feel like it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is really cool. Like, my last video got hella views. I know I'm not getting, like, a thousand views. But I'm getting, like, 50, 60 views in a week. So I'm going to keep doing this and see what happens. Because I think this is really cool. Uh, I like talking to the camera. I like talking to myself. I think this is really cool. <laughs> I'm going to keep vlogging. Um, it'll be cool to see how much I lean down from... The very first vlog that I had 15 weeks out to the show and I'm thinking about going live on YouTube I don't know if YouTube will allow me to do that just yet because I'm so new on YouTube kind of but we'll see uh, as far as my workouts are going um, I'm still pushing semi heavyweight like today shoulder press I press 40s for two sets of 8 to 12 or I think it was like 7 to 12, 7 to 11, between that range. So I'm still lifting semi-heavy. Um, I feel like I'm not getting that much of a pump out of my workouts because I, I just, I stick to the main groups and then work with access or the main workouts and then switch to the accessory workouts with each workout. I'm dedicating, I'm trying to dedicate one body part per day. So one day will be legs, one day will be chest. Just spread all that out to get, really get a good lift in. Um, I feel like that's most effective for me. I don't know the science behind combining muscle groups. I just know that that's what works for me. So I don't wanna 
say something that's wrong because I do not have a degree in dietetics, I do not have a degree in nutrition, but I just know what works for me and that's, you know, what I will document on these blogs. Oh, another thing I want to talk about is posing. So those people who want to compete but don't know where to start, this is what I did when it comes to, when it, at least when it comes to posing. Nutrition is a whole different other realm, but with posing, what I did, I watched pro women's physique, I'm women's physique, so I watch pro women's physique on stage, I watch their shows and I watch the people in particular that are top five, top ten, those people who are posing, what I've learned thus far from posing um, from women's physique, it's very versatile, it's still slightly new, it's not as old as, you know, uh, men's bodybuilding, it's slightly new, so I feel like the, you, there's room for variations with your posing, so I think I mentioned this in my, my last video from, from back in November, posing is very versatile, like side chest, you can, you can do quite a bit for side chest with your legs, there's no like perfect pose, like tricep, you can either pull your tricep backwards, you can either do like Dana Lynn Bailey style and poke it out uh, in front of your chest, exposing your back as well, there's just so much you can do and that's why I love women's physique, women's physique for life. Um, unless I learn how to walk in heels, uh, <laughs> so I can do figure, but yeah, so watch the pros, watch what they do, and you'll see it's so versatile, I love it, but you still have to make sure those muscle groups are showing perfectly, um, over time, I always like, I always try to recommend to the people who are new, I, I'm not experienced at posing, I'm not ex that experienced with getting ready for shows, but I do know that slowly looking at yourself in the mirror, uh, taking videos of yourself, slowly throughout your prep, you're eventually going to see some of those muscles pop out. You're going to see those striations pop out, and you'll slowly see which way you want to pose to expose. I think I'm saying the same thing. But you, do you get what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? Over time, you'll lean out, and those muscles that you really want to show on stage, you want to present those, so you want to continue posing in front of a mirror. <laughs> I really hope that made sense. Pose in front of the mirror, look at yourself, show the muscles that you want to show the right way. Try not to strain and look comfortable. I might take a video. No, nah, it's too early. I still got flab that needs to get off my body, so I'm not going to do that yet, but closer to the show, I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> Hopefully I remember. I'll like show a video of me posing. Um, this is semi good lighting I'll try to show it in front of this lighting so you can see what I mean this video is really long um, this vlog I'm not gonna show any workouts um, so I might I'm at school at uh, my campus and slowly there are people coming back on campus so the gym is, is getting harder and harder to have people record me in the gym that's either loud or it's just I just have to get in there and get my workout in and get out so I, it just doesn't work out but on those days where I have some time, I'll try to show which workouts that I'm doing. Just like a snippet, like my last video, I had a snippet of my leg workout. That only worked out because nobody was in the gym and it was like 11 in the morning. But <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to do that again. But yeah, I'll try to show more footage because I know a lot of people like watching that. Like myself, I like watching people like Dana Lynn Bailey, Rob Bailey, um, showing themselves on video, showing their workouts because it, it, looks, it, looks, it looks cool. So yeah. Uh, I think that's all I want to talk about with this vlog. Yeah. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, please. I'm on Instagram, Tony Marie Fitness. Tony Marie Fitness, follow me. Yeah. Signing out.